Micropulse Isis, video tutorial number 9, making garments using self-adhered bandages to hold Isis systems in place. Before continuing with this video tutorial, we suggest that you review tutorials number 6, 7, and 8. To begin, you want to start with the Isis coils already configured, as we showed you in earlier videos. That means you've decided whether the coils should be stacked, side by side, or on opposite sides, and you've used self-adherent bandage to hold them in that configuration, and you've also decided what length wire cables are going to be necessary so that you can place the coils pre-configured where you want them for treatment, and you can reach all the way to wherever you need to hold the Isis pulse generator. First, you use a length of self-adhering elastic wrap to hold the coils into their configuration. In this case, this is set up in an earlier video to hold the coils on opposite sides of the hips, always making sure that the bumps are facing out. As another example, this configuration shows two coils placed permanently in side-by-side -side configuration. Now you can always remove this elastic wrap if you want to reuse the coils in a different configuration. But this holds them in place extremely well, especially if you press down all around the coils and it also makes sure that they're always touching and that uh, the bumps are always on the same side as they need to be for the physics of ISIS to work properly. This allows you then to maintain that configuration while you're orienting the coils on or near the injury to be treated. Once you have the ISIS coils configured, it's actually pretty straightforward to make an entire garment using them. First thing you might do is place the coils where you want them located. In this case, I'm going to use side by side, directly over the spine. Then you just start to add strips of the elastic bandage. Here I'll add a strip around the front. I'll put the two together. And you can continue to do this building up as large a garment as you need. Once you've built and stabilized the garment, you can do a number of things to make it a little bit more flexible for you. For example, you can use scissors to slice across the garment and create an opening. You can then add additional strips of the self-adhering wrap to make an adjustable belt closure. You can also add strips to hold the pulse generator and the cable wires in place. In this case, I may wish to place the pulse generator off to the side and the cable wires off to the other side. As a general rule, you want to keep the wires quite secure since you don't tend to need to take those off very often. So you might wrap those several times with several strips of self-adhering wrap. In the case of the pulse generator, you want to be a bit more cautious. Usually you need to replace the battery once every day. So in that case, what you might want to do at the very end is create sort of like a hatch door, something that would be very easy for you to remove and work on the pulse generator. You might attach it like this, you might add several strips, always remembering never wrap the bandages too tight, but of course that won't be a problem if you slit the garment and then add an adjusting belt. In this case, I've left the battery essentially exposed. You'll also notice that I'm not using the optional battery cover, and this way I can remove and replace the battery quite easily. I can add an additional strip, the purpose of which is simply to keep the battery covered and in place. And by building it up like this, you can actually make a garment that'll fit on any pet in any location to treat anything, essentially using the ISIS system. 